It's Beer Brew Thursday! Woo! And today we have a special guest. It's His me. name is Duke. Hi. Oh, him, yes. <laughs> and uh, Duke is from the PDX Beer Geeks. Among other, is that actually a thing? It's a loose organization of beer geeky people, and we just like to get together and hang out at different breweries and your true your true goal is world domination. Pretty it? much, yeah, yeah, yeah. One brewery at a time. Man, you guys starting with t-shirts. Starting with t-shirts. Starting with t-shirts. <laughs> Blatant <laughs> advertising. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Um, and since we have a PDX beer geek in the house, we're gonna drink a PDX beer from Cascade, which is blueberry, and it's freaking amazing. It's phenomenal. From what I've heard. From what I've heard too. I was waiting for somebody. To I'm like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I was like, I'm the one that's been opening the bottles the last Take, four days. Taking control. Last four shows, I'm, I'm, so. I'm taking command. Executive decision. Yeah. Steve's not allowed to open this one either. Yeah, I don't believe we've ever done anything Express the gas. on the show, right? Express yeah, the no. gas. Express it. Yeah, it was, ah. it, was, it was a little a little bit aggressive. Don't tell him to express the gas. He's just going to fart. <laughs> from his penis. <laughs> from his penis. <laughs> Apparently. Nobody wants to see Wow, that. you're so rude, skill. Matt. It's a skill. What? Do I ever pour my glass first when I open the bottle? Yes, you do. No, <laughs> I don't pour. I, 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 I believe I believe you did on the last episode. As a matter of fact, <laughs> look at the color go, on that. I love this. Yeah. yeah um, are you are you saving half the bottle for someone else or? I'm just like, <laughs> chill, yo. <laughs> so Steven has decided to be all over my balls today. <laughs> Today? In a not fun way. I'm poking you. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, let's see. Right. toast this. Cheers. Cheers, it. Cheers to Cascade mm, and PDX you. beer. You're welcome. Yeah, My pleasure. Thank you. Oh, I love the way this smells. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, it's just got a great nose to it. I love that smell. Yeah, it definitely has that kind of signature Cascade, like lactic kind mm. of Ooh, tartness that to it. Smell. Right. Um, but um, that's nice. Nice and clean. Mmm. Yeah. It's delish. I'm generally, like, wow. in the past, I've always been anti-fruit beers. Mm -hmm. um, but of late, they're really doing the fruit beers properly now. Yeah. You know, and Cascade's really on the, the, the leading edge of that. Like, yeah. they just, they're brewing some just freaking amazing. I think, what, yesterday they released Strawberry? Mm. Strawberry came out yesterday. Yeah, that's a, a limited run, uh, sold in the shop only. You can't even get it online. They do Some of their beers, when they release them, you can you can get them online and they'll ship them to you. Yeah, I just found that out. Yeah. The website and you download a form and it mm -hmm. says what beers are available and then they'll ship them to you. Right. Nice. Right. Like, and they charge the same price that they do in the brewery, which is nice. You just pay for the shipping. But some of the limited runs, like the, the Strawberry, is, is available only in the, uh, the barrel house. But I have it on good authority that you're getting some bottles. Um, I, I, I did contract out to a few minions yesterday who were, <laughs> were able to secure some bottles. So uh, keep an eye out. They could be coming down this way. Yeah, nice. well, you know, we'll be talking about yeah. that. Now, Preston and Ron are pretty much the, the forerunners of mm -hmm. Cascade. Mm -hmm. Preston handles the blending <laughs> process. Ron's the actual brewer. Mm -hmm. um, well, Ron, Otherwise, actually, Ron they're, they're, Ron. they're both blenders. Um, the brewing is actually done at another location, and then they bring the beer into the barrel house. So all they do in the barrel house is just the blending of the beers and rotating okay. the barrels through the uh, I did not the know cooler. that. <clears throat> yeah. So they're they're both uh, actively involved in the blending of the beer. So nice. Would you like the yeast? Yes, please, please, please. Yeast shot. Um, yeah, and it's uh, I mean it's really interesting to listen to them talk about it. I mean it's pretty much arcane magic as far as they're concerned. And, right. You know, it's uh, they, they amazing. Just, they process. get into their wizard costumes and start, you know. Right. Like you so. said, Ron, known as Elron. Yes. yes. And when Preston's in his wizard costume, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you know, he's such a tall, striking figure, you know. Yeah. <laughs> tall and striking is definitely a good way of putting it. Right, right. Of putting it. So, so talk a little bit about, like, what's going on up in, in Portland, like, the beer scene up there. I mean, Portland is, has been known for craft beer for since the before the 90s. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, it's kind of, I, I think we're kind of, it's almost, uh, I don't even know what the word for it is. It's almost shameful we have so much access to so much amazing stuff and uh, so many breweries opening. I mean, I think we've got like 12 slated to open uh, this year alone. I mean, we've got 50 just in the Portland city limits, 72 in the metro area, 136 in the state. I mean, it's uh, it's amazing. I mean, there's just anything and everything you can hope to get access to. Is it kind of like when you have too many channels on TV though, where you're just <laughs> like, oh, it's just and watch. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've you never ever just find yourself like, oh, I just I don't I, want to drink. Tonight. I've never gotten that way. I mean, it's it's you know, there's always some kind of bottle release or you know, a meet the brewer night going on somewhere. I mean, there's just 
you know, any night of the week, you can find something going on. Yeah, I suppose it's also very like hyper localized, where you know, if you just want a beer, then you're going to walk a block to the brewery down the street. Right. You know, so you right. kind of, that's like I imagine that's how you know a lot of these breweries you know do the majority of their business is the people that are right in. Yeah, there's their, there's a lot of them that are very neighborhood centric and they're very much supported by the, the people in the the community immediately around the brewery. You know, I mean, you do get people that want to go check out other things, but you know. They're very much gathering places. I mean, most of them have some kind of pub or, or tap room or something, tables on the sidewalk, that sort of thing. And it's just kind of a hub of activity around the community that each brewery's in. So mm. it's it's kind of nice. Uh, you know, as long as you make good beer, you're going to find the support in your neighborhood for, for what you do. That's the key. You got to make good beer. Yeah, yeah. it you is. You can't open a brewery and expect people to magically show up and hang right. out. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's, and it's not going to work very well that way. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Well, I think it's a good time for you guys to go off and watch us eat food and drink beer. <laughs> That's... <laughs> It's a, good, it's, a good way, yeah, it's a good way of putting it, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, that's what we do. Yeah, unless, it's, yeah. unless we'll be smoking cigars and We're, drinking beer. We'll, we'll talk about it, too. You know, it won't just maybe, be like... Maybe we'll just be eating it, and you'll just have to watch us eat. <laughs> maybe it's a new, master, new version of Master Pairings where we don't talk about it. That's all it's going to be. We're not even going to tell you what we're eating. Nope. Because we don't know. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Hey everyone, welcome to another Master Pairings. I'm your host, Bill Sisek, and today I have Matt Becker from Newbury Thursday uh, back for more. Uh, today, Matt, I have a Penang uh, curry. It's a fabulous curry, has basil, uh, red bell peppers. Um, do you like Looks, spicy? I do like spicy. I so when you go to a Thai so. restaurant, you know, Thai restaurants have a very intelligent spice schedule. They have one through 10. What's your preference? Um, you know, first for day to day, I would have to go three to five. If I'm in the mood, I can go up to 10. That's a good thing. Because we're out of 10? Yeah. Nice. We're out of 10. All right. We have this fabulous beer. It's the Aventinas. It's a, it's actually a wheat Doppelbach. And oh. we're going to enjoy this and we're going to have it with a little bit of this Penang curry. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm a huge fan here. of Schneider beers and uh, especially the Aventinas. It's a fabulous, uh, fabulous beverage here. An old favorite, that's that great classic malt bill mm -hmm. that's just nice and sweet, Have has a lot of almost molasses on the nose. Yeah, definitely. It's almost a little bit smoky. Is that just me? Just a little No, that's little, a roasted malt. Yeah. Oh, oh, so good. Such a great beer. Pretty big for a, uh, a German lager, too. It's actually... Uh, 8.2 percent so. it's nice because it's it's nice and big but it's not too heavy on the palate i brought know, out a little sriracha down, just in case this wasn't hot enough for you so um let's jump in here some beautiful uh basmati rice it's gonna go straight for the chicken here beautiful heat coming right across the top of my palate mm -hmm. creaminess from the coconut Ooh, milk yeah lovely but that heat's just there it's intense mm -hmm. but not overwhelming And if you notice the spear, completely subdues it. Calms it a lot down. And yeah. it's nice because the, the fruity notes of this beer really tend to pop yeah. quite a bit. The heat know? will come back afterwards, but it's, oh, yeah, it's, there it, is. it works really well. <laughs> I'm going to get a dash mm -hmm. of rice on this one because I only got chicken last round. It's a great curry sauce. I love the Penang curry. Oh, oh yeah, that was rude. Kind of a cross between the, uh, in my opinion, once again, I'm not a, uh, uh, even though I love Thai food and I've been eating it for many, many decades, and I've even been to Thailand, oh. I, I consider this kind of a cross between a red and a yellow. Uh, I'm sure a Thai food purist will probably say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about, but that's what it reminds me of, everybody out there. Uh, if you can find the Penang or the specialty curry, I highly recommend it. Most mm -hmm. uh, Thai places have a really nice green, yellow, and red. Okay. But a lot of times they'll do a specialty one. That's from the region that they're You're talking about color, colors of the curry. Yes, that's okay. classic. You would order a Thai curry by the color. This is going to happen like right now. I like this. This is going to happen right now. I'm going to do a little, little dollop right there. Going all out. You know you want to. Good for you. Oh, you yeah. You know you want to. No. I'm just waiting for you to finish up. I just want to make sure. Oh, now you're You're ready to go. Oh, yeah. Sure, Roger, man. Makes the ordinary extraordinary. 
It just adds a little tang. The heat is another element, mm -hmm. but you already have so much heat coming from this. It doesn't really like necessarily build on it. Yeah, it it just throws a layer in there. Adds a layer of complexity, that extra pepper character. Yeah. It's delicious. Um, I really like what the beer does. So remember, you're out with your friend, spicy food. You uh, want to cut through it. You want a nice multi beer. Um, once again, I didn't say this at the beginning, but this is another part of my late night series. Um, when you're out drinking great craft beers throughout the night, yep. it's always nice to have something spicy towards the end. So you get home, you got some great curry, pull just, it out. Just, just, so, just so your morning is that much better. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, uh, you can actually get this the day before, have it waiting for you or earlier in the day. It's mm -hmm. perfect because great curries last for a long time. Pop open a beer for a nightcap, have it. It's a wonderful experience. Excellent. And uh, good times. Nicely done. Delicious. Right. Thank you, everybody, for watching another Master Pairing. Cheers. So we're back from Master Pairings. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. we, was... we did talk about it <laughs> on, on the Master Pairing, so you were just watching us eat. It was mostly Bill. Dude. Yeah. They know that. They watched it. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, just try harder. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> Just so what, 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 promote something in Portland? <laughs> promote something in Portland, jeez, uh, where do you start? Uh, Oregon Brewers Festival, that's an easy one. There Coming up go. next week, um, if you get a chance to come up to Oregon, we get 85 breweries come on. Um, it's open for four or five days, a um, lot of great beers. Um, this year we're seeing a lot of beers. Um, breweries are bringing something different than they than what they've brought in previous years. We've had a kind of a rut where some breweries bring the same thing year after year after year, and we're kind of seeing a change in that now. Finally, where the organizers are like, okay, we've we've had this beer, we know about this beer. Let's yeah. bring something. What else? Is, what else are you doing? You know, what, why why else should we? I think we know, should make it a point to, to go up to that next year. Yeah. You should. Be, it's a fantastic time. There's so much going on in the community that week. That's yeah. uh, Portland Craft Beer Month. OBF people, week. hit me up. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll work something out. Yeah, yeah. I think I do think OBF Thursday needs to take a Portland trip because it's never. Yeah. It hasn't really happened. We've never been to Portland. Yeah. we've been to Seattle several times. I want to go up and go to the Hop Fields in Yakima too. Because that'll be awesome. Yeah, that's that's got to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Final thoughts on the beer? Delicious. Amazing. Yeah, like you said, it's 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 so cool how um, you know you see the way that Cascade works with fruit because mm -hmm. all of their beers are spectacular. I mean, you know your Creek and your Apricot and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think Steve saying he's not a fan of fruit beers. I think you mean like regular beers with fruit, not sour. Beers. Right? No, no, no. And like this is this is way back like before they were even doing sour mm -hmm. beers that way. It's like when you'd get like some like Sea Dog blueberry beer. Like that's what I'm talking it's like, about. Like fuck that. Well, I'm it's, sorry. It's, that's nasty. It's so easy to overdo fruit in a <laughs> right. beer. You, yeah. you know, moderating it to the point where it's enjoyable but not overpowering. Is right. a, it's. I mean, that's it's a skill. Yeah. And, and that's not and everybody's they've really good at gotten it. really good at. It. I mean, and. Back then, if I had seen this beer, I would have been like, oh, I'm not going to drink that blueberry. Right. That's nasty. But this is how blueberry beer should taste. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like just the nice hint of blueberry in the back end of the taste. It's very tart, very sour. It's actually not, um, I don't think it's very Not very tart sour, but very no, it's, sour. it's very subtly. Yeah. It's very subtle, mm -hmm. but it's, um, you, get the, you get those nice qualities off of it. Um, the aroma is extremely amazing. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's just, it's exactly the way it should be done. Yeah. So. And another, another thing, the fact that it's with blueberries. I mean, blueberries are a really hard fruit to do right because right. you got to use a lot, a lot of... Now, do they use, like, know. fresh blueberries or are they, like, a compote? Every, or? Everything they do is fresh fruit. They have a lot of relationships with growers in the area. And so I know this week they've got apricots coming in. Uh, next nice. week is going to be cherries. So, I mean, they, they partner with the growers. They process it as soon as it comes in from the field. You know, crush them, macerate them, whatever it is they're going to do, and then they just go straight in the barrel right away, or in the nice. the fermenter. You know, however it is they're doing that particular beer. All right, right on. Yeah, very so. cool. Uh, so, yeah. Um, August the twelfth, we're going to be at Blue Palms fourth anniversary party, and lucky you, we're going to be raffling off two tickets to go, so you can go for free, freezies. Always um, a good price. Yeah, uh, courtesy of Blue Palms and Uber Thursday. What you have to do to win, though, is you have to tell us by email, comment at newbrewthursday.com. Please don't tweet it at us or Facebook at us or comment on our blog. Those are all wonderful things to do, but not for this. Email comment at newbrewthursday.com and tell us the date and preferably the time, if you can, that uh, Blue Palms officially reopened after their forced closure last year. Which was unfortunate. Which yeah. was unfortunate. And not related to Blue Palms at all. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. They just got caught in the middle of something else. But uh, we're really excited about it. If you want to go, 
uh, do that. Um, if you don't want to take the time to try to win, buy some tickets because it's a great event. So, and we'll be there August 10th, is that Friday, and we'll be at the Full Pints uh, fifth anniversary party, fifth. and that's at Naja's place. It's going to be an amazing time. Also Come on down for it. that. And uh, yeah, then the 16th, I'll be at Stone, and John will be at Stone, and we'll both be at different places at Stone anniversary party. I think someone could probably spreading the love. <laughs> yeah. We'll so yeah, well, I'll, you know, <clears throat> you'll find me up in the VIP area, mocking John down <laughs> down in the uh, general session area. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Matt won't be there at all. No, I won't. I'm sad. Tear, which is also Tear. unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tear on my face. Yeah. Um, and on the 25th, I'll be in Nebraska, Omaha. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska, Omaha. Yeah. That's uh, for the too. Great Nebraska Beer Festival. If you're in the Midwest, I'd love to see you come out and have a pint with us, and that's a great event, too. So, uh, yeah, so that covers August and what we're doing. Yeah. And um, so, uh, anything else? I think that's it. That's it. Thanks right. for coming on the show, dude. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah, it. It's been, been a fun. great time. I love you, Duke. I love you, too. All right. <laughs> I love you, man. And, oh. And we love you guys. Okay. So, until next week, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.